Hi, I'm Rebecca Robbins from Robbins Nest Weaving. Today on tips, tricks and how to's, we're going to talk about cutting off. We're going to cut off between projects. Um, in my case, I'm cutting off between baby wraps. I like to get the old one off and get it processed and ready to go out the door while I'm working on the next one. At the end of my wrap, I weave a little bit of plain weave, almost two inches. Looks like I've done about four centimeters, something around there. And I used a rod, but you can use a stick or whatever you have that's really, really stable and isn't going to move. And then I weave a little bit of plain weave beyond that as well. And then this is how I'm going to leave it and I'm going to cut. I'm probably going to cut in the fabric. This is sampling anyways, at the end it's going to have to get cut off. Okay. Voila! going to do because I'm frugal and it's better for the environment I'm just going to connect these two with these existing ones so I'm not wasting them this back in here but you could just use fresh new zip ties every time if you like I just don't like So I've got two zip ties in. Let's see, I had one here from before. So I just want to get through here. I'm going to go around that. Well, let's see here. Let's get it centered first. Fold this underneath just to give it extra support. There we go. Make sure they're all the same. Make sure you clip this off or else it will damage your yarn when you get on the other side. When it goes around the cloth beam, if it digs in, you don't want that. Now I'm ready to start. Voila. Thanks for watching the video today. I hope you learned a thing or two. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments. And please, if you liked our video or any of our videos or all of our videos, please be sure to like and subscribe.